Welcome to this lesson on logarithms. Logarithms have many applications. To name a few, they are used for the Richter scale, pH values in chemistry, and in stock market charting. By the way, please review my algebra lesson on exponents. You need to know that well before studying logarithms. Are we ready? Their expression log base b of n equals p simply means b raised to the power p equals n. Notice how it is read log base b of n. It is always log of something. We're going to do nine examples. Here they are. I see Chipmunk's front paw in the air. Do you have a question, Chipmunk? Yes, Miss Jane. You left out the bases in problem six and seven. Ah, Chipmunk, you are observant. When no base is given, it is assumed to be base 10. Okay, class? Let's look at example 1. Log base 2 of 8. 2 to what power is 8? The answer is 3. Example 2, another quickie. Log base 7 of 49 is what? 7 raised to what power is 49? And I'm sure you all got that one right. The answer is 2. Here's example 3. What is log base 3 of 81? 3 raised to what power is 81? 3 to the 4th power is 81, right? So 4 is the answer. If you're asked to show the steps, 3 to what power is 81? 81 is, factor it, 3 times 3, 9, times another 3, 27, times another 3, 81. There's your 3 to the 4th. So the question mark is equal to 4. Look at example 4. It's very similar to example 3, except we have 1 over 81. 3 to what power equals to 1 over 81? We saw how 81 is 3 to the 4th. 1 over 3 to the 4th is 3 to the negative 4 power. Match up the powers. We get the answer is negative 4. Here's example 5. What is log base 5 of 25 cubed? This one looks more complicated. So let's let the log equal to p instead of using the question mark and the solution. You could use x if you rather, but I'll use p for power. The log expression means 5 to the p equals to 25 cubed. We could see all the fives in there. And that's the way to solve this problem. Express the 25 as 5 squared. We then have 5 squared, the whole thing to the third power. That equals to 5 to the 6. You multiply the 2 and the 3. Match up the powers. We get p equals to 6. And that's the answer. Okay, now let's look at example 6. We see log of 1,000. And we already mentioned when you don't see the base, the base is 10. 10 to what power is 1,000? The answer is 3, right? Here are the steps. 10 to what power is 1,000? 1,000 is 10 times 10. That's 100 times another 10. That's 1,000, so we have 10 cubed. 
match up the powers, and we see that the answer is 3. Example 7, that should look very familiar to the 1 over 81 problem. We have log base 10 of 10 to the negative third power. So the power is negative 3. Are we getting good at this yet? Let's see whether we could do example 8 by just looking at it. What is square root 3? That is 3 to the 1 half. And the question is, what power do you raise 3 to get 3 to the 1 half? It's a silly question, right? The power is 1 half. If you need to show the steps, here they are. Our last example is the most challenging one. Let's let the log equal to p. And this expression means 4 to the p power equals 2 times square root 2. We notice all the 2's in there, right? Let's get everything in terms of 2. 2 times square root 2 is 2 times 2 to the 1 half. At the powers, we have 2 to the 3 halves. In the meantime, 4 is 2 squared. So on the left side, we have 2 to the 2p equals the right side, 2 to the 3 over 2. So the powers have to be the same. We get 2 times p equals to 3 over 2. Divide both sides by 2. We find that p equals 2. 3 over 4. In the next lesson, we will study laws of logarithms. Uh-oh, that sounds pretty serious. But don't worry, these laws are fun to work with. So until next time, bye.